Okay, I know the title of this video is a very bold statement to make, but today I'm gonna to be showing you what the best mountain bike brakes are that you've never heard of. We're gonna be talking about the Lewis LH4 brakes. I've been testing these for the last few weeks and quite frankly, I've been blown away and that is not an exaggeration. I will show you all the details about these brakes, the features. I honestly think, hands down, these are some of the best brakes I've used. I always watch videos like this when people are like, oh my God, this is the best product, this is the best whatever, and take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. This, honest to God, is about to change the game for what we know about mountain bike brakes. Now with mountain biking, like with anyone, I want the best components on my bike, especially with some of the stuff that I'm riding, you have to have confidence in the components you're using because the last thing you want is a lack of confidence which could cause injury, crashes, or not really helping you get to like the potential that you know you're capable of on a bike. Lewis is a bike brand. It's a fairly new bike brand that was founded in 2022. I came across them on Instagram, out of all places, contacted them, and was really intrigued by what they were doing. Lewis is a new bike brand. They have 17 years of CNC experience. Their goal is to make the best mountain bike components in terms of innovation and price point, which is, usually in mountain biking or in anything, it's one or the other. You pay more for high-end stuff, and then you'd assume obviously it's higher quality, and the less you pay, then the cheaper or less quality is. These guys are trying to do both, make the best products at the best price. So let's first take a look at the actual brake. I'm using their LH4 brake, which is their brake that is designed for enduro, downhill, probably great on e-bikes as well. I've not tested on e-bike yet. Just on appearance alone, if you look at this brake and feel the lever it is super high-end it actually feels as good as it looks it's not cheap plastic it is really good machining very high quality cnc it looks the part it looks very high quality and it feels very high quality we have a pivot bearing or a bearing pivot in the lever so the lever always feels extremely smooth extremely responsive we have braided hoses on here which is a really nice finish and we also have this two-in-one bite and lever reach adjuster, which is a painted design from Lewis. It's probably one of the best bite adjustment lever reach things I've ever played with because in the past, I've, I've tried various different brakes from your big names like Shimano and Tram. Sometimes I find the bite adjuster and lever reach a little bit of a gimmick. Like you have all these adjustments on them. You think that's gonna create the best feel brake, but I've always been a bit disappointed. This, however, is, I feel has actually changed the game. It is fairly precise. So no matter how you like to run your brakes, whether you like to run them really close to the bar and really like like hardly any lever pull until they bite. You can do that if you like to run your levers far apart, far, further away from the bar, sorry, more play in the lever, you can also do that. You can really fine tune how your brakes feel. And if you like a precise feeling brake, you're gonna love these, honest to God. I can vouch for these 100%. And I'm somebody who's come from like set it, forget it mindset, you know, like put a brake on, play around with the lever reach and then just go and ride bikes. These though, you can really, really fine tune how you want the lever to feel and how the pad interacts with the, the rotor. If we look at how the lever is mounted onto the brake, it is a three millimeter Allen key that you can take completely off the handlebar so you don't have to remove the grips or anything to change the brakes over or take them off, which is a really nice finish. When I actually got these brakes, they needed threading internally in the frames. I obviously had to undo all the, the, the fitting, so it needed to be bled, which was a really simple process. Lewis used mineral oil across all their brakes. I think we used to actually use a SRAM bleed kit. So it's that kind of process where you have two syringes and you pump fluid from the bottom of the caliper all the way through to the top. And we got them feeling really, really bitey, really, really nippy. Inside here, where the fitting is, it's not like your typical olive and barb setup. So in a normal brake, you'd, if you want to shorten the cables, for example, you would cut the hose, put a new barb in, put an olive on, put it all back together, which is a bit annoying. This is a very, very new refined system and it works off basically a screw so you don't need a barb which is amazing because if you want to trim your hose take the hose off for any reason or re-thread it through your frame you then don't have to put another olive and barb on which saves a ton of time ton of effort and hassle if you haven't got those parts so we'll take a look at the calipers now and the calipers again steel four piston calipers with actually steel pistons most brakes nowadays use plastic or some form of, form of plastic for pistons and they're prone to breaking, cracking when you're trying to maneuver the piston, which is a nightmare. Again, these are super high quality. I've had no problems so far from testing them. I'm currently running semi-metal brake pads, so I haven't tried organic brake pads yet or fully synthetic pad. These seem to be really good. For any of you weight weenies out there and want to know like how much these brakes weigh, a full complete set, including hoses, is less than 600 grams. 
I actually haven't compared that to other brands, but maybe I'll put on the screen now what other brands are so you can see for yourself. They're fairly lightweight, but what I've actually felt is when using them, they don't feel so lightweight that you'd feel a loss of confidence. Like they're heavy enough to feel confident that you've got the power and performance to stop you when you need it, but they're light enough to modulate your power and actually get them super fine tuned. So let's talk about performance and where I've used them because I've had these brakes now for about a month, maybe just under a month, and I've used them on my local trails here in Inalithan. And then I went out to Mexico for an urban street race, which really put the brakes to the test. Oh, I've never done an urban street race, put it that way. I was completely out of my comfort zone. I needed confidence inspiring brakes to help me with that event. These brakes performed, the LH4s performed. Felt completely confident after one or two rides. I'm not really a big fan of changing brakes. I've always been a Shimano kind of guy. So if you use Shimano brakes before, they're very bitey, very specific lever feel. That's always been my go-to brake. Other people may prefer the SRAM feel, which is a little bit more modular. These I feel are almost in the middle, but you can set them up whichever ever side of the scale that you want. One thing I'm gonna point out as well in this video is that a lot of people have seen these brakes and they've generated a lot of attention and people think they are carbon copies of other brakes in the market. They're not just carbon copies or brakes that are off like AliExpress or Alibaba. What the Lewis has done is taken different innovations and ideas from successful products and then innovated on top of those to make their own more superior product, which is what you should do in any market with any product or service. And that's what they've done here. So you may look at these brakes and think, oh, they look like such and such a brake. Yes, they look similar, but I can tell you now, they have been refined to the point where they've taken these top brands and just refined and innovated on top of them. Let's talk about price point. Price point is gonna blow you away. Again, other brakes in the market, this is actually mind blowing thinking about this. So right now, if you go on the website in the link in the description, this may have changed by the time you go there, you can get a set of these brakes for under 300 UK pounds, which is crazy. That is both brakes. So front and rear brake setup. Go and compare that to other brakes in the market and I can guarantee you will not get close to the performance of these brakes at that price point. It literally is impossible. I have no idea how they've done it, but they have. And that's why I'm making this video with such a bold title because I am 100% behind this product. I'm confident in it and I wanna share it with you guys. I wanna share what I'm using, what I believe in, so you guys know and can get the full picture. I'm not lying. This isn't a paid thing or anything. This is literally my review of the brakes that I've just started using. So make sure you go to the link in the description. You can find out more details of the brakes and you can grab them for yourself if you're in the UK. I think there is also other distributors around the world as well. Stay tuned and keep in touch with Lewis. Go and follow them on Instagram as well. They have got some really cool products in the pipeline, which I don't really want to talk about right now. It's not for me. Just understand that these guys are in it to change the mountain bike game when it comes to performance, innovation, and being the best components at the best price. That's like the bottom line.